So I want to uh, kind of uh, tag on to where you were talking about a little bit there, because you you know you were sharing about um, sometimes women get things and then they can't keep it, or maybe they're just getting it out of jealousy or envy or, or, or these other things. Um, and obviously, a lot of the work that I do from a coaching and guiding people standpoint is to help them figure out what it's actually relevant, what's relevant for them or to them, not so much what mm -hmm. Sally has or John has or, or whoever else. What is it that you really want? Because the thing that I see happen most often is men or women is you will go after a thing because they have it or you see it somewhere else. You attain it and then you're not satisfied or fulfilled because it's not really what you want in the first place, right? So you have this kind of sense of not being fulfilled or satisfied, even though you put in the work and you've attained it and you're like, well, that was unfruitful mm -hmm. because, you know, it, it doesn't really resonate or mean anything to you. So I think that's mm -hmm. an important piece is to take some time, as you said, uh, to be self-reflective. And, you know, we talk about self-care and these other things, but really figuring out as an individual, what is truly mm -hmm. relevant to you, what matters to you most and, and put your energies and your efforts in those directions.